This is a real fight, Chris Bell. Time to use your new skills. Be swift, be precise. First, select attack and then choose your target. Finally, just as the attack connects, press the button one more time to do a double slash. Very good, Chris Bell. Be cautious. Watch for your opponent's attack and press the button right when they hit you to block most of the damage. Ow. Careful, Chris Bell. It will strike again. Make sure you press the button right when the attack hits you to block it. Nicely done. Now give it your all. Finish it off. Well done, Chris Bell, but I am afraid our work is not done here. Who are you supposed to be? Hello, my name is... Tell me if we survive. You know how to fight? Let us show him. Christopher, by the way. Chris Bell. Two less of them. Been chasing those things since I left St. Clarity. We've got to stop them before they reach town. And exactly how do you plan to do that? Hold your ground! They won't get past us. Look, Volcano, they broke our poor goblins. How adorable. Can we keep them? Gally, we've talked about this. No more pets until... Until I stop murdering them. I know, I know. I just want to play. Not my fault they're all so squishy. <laughs> and that's why we can't have nice things. Work. We can't touch them. Not even a scratch. Take much more of this. Chris Bell, it is time. Use the crystals. The crystals.
Wait! My rose! Crisbell! Crisbell! Where are you? Crisbell! I'd better not keep her waiting. get to go out and play. Crispell, finally. Did you prune the roses yet? I'm sorry, Mother Superior. It's just my rose. He... the frog. It took it. Enough, enough. I've seen that look before. Find that rose, then hurry back. There's work to do and no time to waste. Go on. Yes, Mother Superior. Thank you, Mother Superior. And be careful. I worry about you. Go on now. I have to get my... your grandma, Chris, and how it used to be around here. Lovely day for a walk in the woods. Chris Bell, what's the hurry? Good morning, Marco. Have you seen a little yellow frog? A frog? Well, sure. Maybe wearing a top hat? Carrying a rose? A top hat? Then no. Maybe try the mayor's estate. There's always something going on there. I'll try. Thanks, Marco. Sorry to bother you. Are you kidding? That's the most interesting thing I'll hear all day! I have to get my rose back. Chris Bell! Good morning, Marco. A frog? Maybe wearing... Uh, top? Maybe try the mayor's estate. I'll try. Are you kidding? I still have to... Check out the cool sticker we found! It's a skull! Check out the cool...
That Marco is never home. He will inherit this one day. He should help me take care of it. Think about the future! It's not just the farms that'll be renovated. It's the orphanage, the shops, the whole town! Your future fouls the land, poisons the water. Goblin raiding parties are burning our fields. Money, power, your precious industry. That's all you care about now. How dare you! Where's your proof? Proof? Look around you. Look at our crops. Then sell your lands, Robert. Don't let it trouble you any longer. It's what's best for the town. It's best for someone, but not the town. You seem to be doing just fine. Now, see here, I never... Mr. Mayor, we have a visitor. Hello, Crispell. What do you want? Hello, Miss Lana. I was looking for a yellow frog with a top hat. Of course you were. Try the northern fields. That's where all the little pests go, hmm? May the lady light your way, Crispo. Too many in town have strayed from her grace. Oh, thank you. I should go. someone do this? to protect us but it's always we give the lady our trust everyone else has to earn it sorry Chris what's up I'm looking for a little yellow frog he was wearing a hat a top hat he took my rose <laughs> a frog in a top hat only you Chris Bell I haven't seen it but I'll keep my eyes open thanks Polly maybe I should pray to the lady about it <laughs> you have been talking to my father. Well, if you're looking for a miracle, I suppose the cathedral is as good a place as any to try.
Mother Superior finds out I've come here alone... Actually, you are. You have opened the crystals of time, Crispell. <gasps> what are... I mean, who... How do you know my name? So many questions. Matthias the Frog at your service. I have been keeping an eye on you for some time now. On me? Why? I suspected you had been chosen, my dear. It appears I was correct. Chosen? By whom? What are these crystals? Why me? More questions. The past and the future have revealed themselves to you. Come, see for yourself. I can't. I don't want this. Nothing to fear, child. You have much to learn about your powers. Powers? This is a curse. Why is this even happening? You're upset. Perfectly understandable. But I know someone who can help. He lives in a little hut down by the lake. Leave town? Mother Superior will worry. She would be very worried if she saw you like this. Is it another talking frog? If only. But sadly, no. Trust me, little one. Let us go immediately. Just a little further, we are all... Just a little... These strange ruins...
Here we are. He lives just over there in that hut. Perhaps you should let me do the talking. The soil. It feels warm to the touch. We'll help. Answer the door. Go away. I'm busy. Open the door, you pompous child. We have important business. Matthias? Huh. Idiot frog. You're a child. Manners, you're speaking to a revered time mage. Now, who might you be? Crispell. Um... Sir? Crispell has opened both crystals of time. Ridiculous. Impossible. Why not even I have been able to? Yet it has happened. No. No, no, no. There's something else at work here. Can someone please tell me what's going on? Patience. I am Wilhelm the Wise. You, it seems, are a time mage. As am I. And while my powers have led to my youthful appearance, yours are the gift to see possibility. Possibility? I thought it was the future. Incorrect. It is a possible future. Perhaps a practical demonstration will help. Take this seed and plant it over there. to be specific, but take care. It will only grow if you care for it. Otherwise, it will wither and die. So if I do something in the present, I can affect the future. Obviously. Has that not always been the case? Now, however, you have the ability to see future possibilities, so choose your actions accordingly. I should use this to check up on Mother Superior and my sisters. They'll be wondering where I've gone. Thank you, Wilhelm. Yes, yes, go to your sisters. You've given me much to ponder, young mage. This is where I planted the seed Wilhelm gave me. This is where I pl Her powers? I haven't seen them since... Huh? You're still here?
Why would so Isabel, you had me worried. Mother Superior, you're okay. The orphanage is still here. Well, of course. What's got you so excited, child? Did something happen? No, I mean, not yet. I went to get my rose, then Matthias showed me how I could... Matthias? Yes, he... he was just here. I need to find him. At least give me the rose you spent all morning looking for. Y yes, Mother Superior. Now, go find your friend. And don't take all day. I you still have to prune these roses. Yesterday. If I take extra care of them today, they'll be even prettier tomorrow. Matthias? I thought it best not to upset your mother superior with the appearance of a talking frog. Oh. Crispell? I am sorry if I upset you by leaving. No. I mean, yes, but it's the orphanage. I saw its future. Abandoned. Empty. How could that happen? 
I do not know, but let us look around town. Perhaps your new powers can shed light on this. It looks like me. It does. Interesting. I do not believe in coincidences, Chris Bell, especially when there is a time mage involved. It looks like it does. I do. Welcome to look around here. Quite unfortunate. Unfortunate? The Millers are homeless. Without the apothecary, the town has no medicine. Only in the future, and only if you let it happen. If I let it happen? But... No, you're right. right. Time to worry about that right now. If you want to talk raw, talk to the carpenter over to the west. Yeah, yeah. Good morning, I guess. Can you help me? There's a problem with the houses. A problem? Great. What did you see, girl? They're rotting away from the inside. In a few years, there won't be anything left. You saw rot on the inside. From the outside? Neat trick. Sounds like someone's been telling you stories about Ash Blight. Happened back when I was a kid. Would have lost most of the town if the old apothecary hadn't brewed up a batch of green leaf tonic. Can you make some? Do I look like an apothecary? Go ask June. She's the one who knows about this stuff. Charming fellow. This will take forever to sort out. Excuse me, I was wondering if you could help me. You and half the town? No, no, I can't. Someone tore the label off of my mushrooms. That sounds bad. Bad? It's terrible. One of these is red button. Good for digestion, great on a salad. One of them is ground death cap. Even the tiniest bit could be deadly. An important distinction, wouldn't you agree? Of course, with no labels, it's impossible to tell them apart. Can't you 
just throw them out and make some more? Sure, of course. It would take weeks to find the mushrooms, days to prepare them. I don't have time to redo it all. My father used to do all of that. He bottled and labeled them years ago. I'm sorry. I wish I could help. Me too. It'd be nice to have help around here. Since Dad died, though, I try to keep everything the way he left it. But there are only so many hours in the day. Sorry, I've got to get back to work. No wonder she's upset. They all look alike. I suppose they do. Let me try something. Ugh, I can't see them in the past at all. Allow me. And this is the death cap. That sticker. I saw it today. Some kids were playing with one. Does she have any reason to believe you? No, you're right. We need proof. Check out the cool sticker we found! It's a skull! You took that from Jones. Do you know what you've done? It's only a sticker. You can't just take things from stores. Especially not the apothecary! Some of her ingredients could be dangerous. Sorry, Chris. This is as much proof as we are likely to get. Miss June, we found your label. It goes on the bottle with the red lid. Where did you find it? Some kids took it. They just thought it was a cool skull sticker. I don't think they meant any harm. Of course they didn't. <sighs> What's done is done. I'll talk to their parents about this later. Thank you, Chris Bell. I really appreciate all you've done. This might be a good time to ask her about the tonic. Chris Bell, was there something you needed? Yes. Do you know how to make green leaf tonic? Of course. Unfortunately, I don't have any glow fruit in stock. It's very rare and it doesn't tea. Not many uses for it, but it's essential for green leaf tonic. Is there any glow fruit near Nareen? Maybe I can find some. I wouldn't get your hopes up, but ask Magda by the cathedral. She knows the plants in the area. You might get lucky. Good morning, Mrs. Magda. They used to grow by the lake, but I haven't seen one in ages. The seed you planted for Wilhelm, it was glow fruit. 
I'm sorry, dear. If you find one, let me know. They're beautiful. Glowing purple and orange. And they only bloom every ten years or so. Really lovely. Thank you, Mrs. Magda. That's just what I need. I planted, but the fruit is going to take forever to grow. And perhaps we should skip ahead, or rather, I will. Here it is. Go see the apothecary. I have glow fruit. Will one be enough? That will do. Just a minute. Here you go. There's enough only for one dose, but it's free of charge. Thank you. Uh, I find I finally having really fun. I thought you would be happier. What is it, Chris? There's only enough to take one house. What can I do? Ah, uh, yeah, yes. Even with the Chris, there's doesn't at least so much I can do to help. to the lake, Chrisma? I've heard... This will be the new face of the town. Oh. Ash Blight? Why would you think that? I overheard the carpenter talking. He thinks a number of buildings could be affected. How awful. I remember my father telling me stories about Ash Blight. He said it came from a spore that grew near the farms, that it spread on the wind after the big fires. Well, no time to waste. We don't have much green leaf tonic, but perhaps I can find another solution. Thank you again, Chris Bell. You're welcome, June. 
I'm glad I was able to help someone. Crispell, look! Do you see how your actions have affected the future? I suppose. But what about the Millers? Where will they live? One problem at a time, little one. Remember, most of the town remains unchanged. And we're no closer to finding out what happens to the orphanage. We have more immediate issues to deal with. Look! Smoke! The farms are on fire! That's what brought Ashblade to Nareem the last time! We've got to go! Crispell, wait! Did somebody go camping? Damn me! Are you seeing the smoke, Chris? Wait, you're not thinking of going there, are you? There's nothing you can do here. I can help! Just let me! Don't be foolish. Let the soldiers do their work. And pray they're up to the task. He is right, Chris Bell. The crystals won't be enough. Quickly, we must see Wilhelm again. 